Today we are going to test how Revitalizin works and show how it restores a bearing. We take regular but high quality bearings made of strong tool steel. The bearings are taken from one batch and have the same markings. Let's check the values of radio clearances before the bearings are disassembled. Measurements are made using an indicating device with the division value of 1 micron. The first one is 0.049 millimeters. The second one is 0.042 millimeters. The values are within the tolerance limits and once again confirm the quality of the bearings. And now let's disassemble the bearings and spoil them by making defects on the roller paths using an engraving cutter. When similar scratches appear during operation, they can eventually result in breakdown. We make additional markings on the bearings. We pack sample number one with hot oak grease containing revitalizin. And sample number two with a regular grease of good quality. Operation of the bearings under load is provided by a special machine. Its main assemblies are electric motor, clutch, mounting, assembly, forcing screws, shaft, and two bearings. Each screw creates bending load on the shaft. These two radial forces counterbalance each other. That's why the shaft is mostly unloaded and barely experiences any bending stress by rotation. Let's install the bearings onto the shaft and fix them using a spring nut. Let's start the machine. Now each bearing is under severe radial load of about 8000 N. Rotation frequency is about 1000 RPM. During the machine operation restoration of the bearing take place, that is, the defect is eliminated by formation of a ceramic metal coating. We constantly control the temperature of the bearings so that they don't overheat. Under the specified load and velocity, the coating can be formed within 8 hours, but we stop our machine after 5 hours before the end of the treatment. At this stage, the scratches are not completely covered, and we have a unique opportunity to see how exactly formation of the ceramic metal layer occurs. The defect still can be seen, but it is imperceptible at a touch. Look, the surface is not abraded anymore, but is kind of embedded with a glass-like material. This is a ceramic metal coating, the result of revitalized application. And our control sample. As for its color, it looks a bit burned. Under the load destruction was quite intense. You can see scratches and small cavities on the surface. Let's measure radio clearances once again. Bearing with hot oak grease, 0.04 millimeters. It means the clearance decreased by 9 micron. Control sample, 0.061 millimeters. The clearance increased by 19 micron. Measurements showed considerable improvement of the bearing characteristics due to application of the grease-containing revitalizant. Experience confirms iron can really be healed.